Hello everyone and welcome back to Queen Variety's channel. In today's episode, I introduce to you how to make a perfect Kuli Kuli recipe. You can as well fry this recipe, but we are using the oval method of preparation. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get instant notifications whenever I upload new video. Feel free to share this video with your friends, loved ones, or anybody you want to share it. For this recipe, you require only few ingredients. Here is my peanut butter, guys and this is the chief ingredient for this recipe if you don't want to use the peanut butter you can also use the roasted and peanuts and then go ahead and blend it up and now here i'm using 500 grams of um, peanut butter and we are using two bottles you can as well use just uh, one bottle here in the glass i have some hot to warm water like it's just between hot and warm water you don't need cold water for this recipe guys so anything between warm or hot water is very well accepted in my hand here i have one small onion and also red bell pepper i'm using just half of it you can use any color of the bell pepper you prefer and also here i have some ginger guys this is very very important um, for this recipe so please don't skip the ginger aspect other ingredients i have here are some white ground pepper you can substitute this with paprika if you have it available or black pepper if you want to use in that here i have some garlic powder this is optional and here i have a combination of um, pepper soup spice and just let go of this ingredient if you don't like it and then half a cube don't add salt guys because um, the peanut contains salt unless you're using organic um, peanut that doesn't have salt at all then you can add a little pinch of salt into it but instead i'll be using just half a cube so now having introduced all the ingredients now let's go straight into the recipe guys going over to the next step as you can see i have placed a blender at my work surface we are going to combine all the ingredients i introduced earlier on inside this blender and then go ahead and blend it up So guys the blending process is done we are going over to the next step and that is um, scooping in the peanuts that we have inside this uh, bowl To do next is to introduce the blended um, ingredients and here i have my sieve so i'm going to pass these ingredients across the sieve what i will do now is to use my hands and then work it into the mixture here So as you can see, this is what we are having here after you have worked it in. What I've done here is to transfer the peanuts inside um, the paper towel. We are going to squeeze and extract um, as much oil as possible from these um, peanuts. ahead to divide them the peanut into two segments because the quantity is big for my paper towel here so guys after trying my best to squeeze the oil with the paper towels what i'm going to do now is to bring a very new napkin this napkin has not been used before I'm going to also transfer them into this um, napkin and try my best to see if I can squeeze out um, more oil. Because guys, if you don't um, squeeze out the oil from this um, peanut, during the frying process or the baking process, this peanut is going to disintegrate and you wouldn't want um, that. If you have any device or equipment that can help you to you know do this process very very well then you have to make use of it guys if not we have to do it the local way so keep doing this until you have extracted um, all the oil so i'll be doing this um, off camera until i have extracted all the oils then i'll come back
towel this is the fourth towel i've been using a very new towel guys so what i will do now is to flatten all the peanuts in a circular shape on top of this um, towel because we are going to place a very heavy object on top of the peanut so whatever you have that is very heavy you can also use it minutes later we are going to now go over to the next step right here i have a bowl i'm going to transfer the peanuts inside here so guys i've gone ahead to transfer all the peanuts inside them this plate and this is a close shot of what we are having you see that the appearance of the peanuts right now is looking as dry as possible yes guys so this is what you want the outcome to be so remember this process is taking so long because um, i used an oily peanut so please try your best to use a dense peanut that way you will not spend so much time in extracting the oil going over to the next step we are going to drizzle in some little quantity of hot water at the surface of the peanuts and then turn it back to a clay form the mixing process what we are going ahead to do now is to just them um, form it to any shape of your choice so you just have to begin to mold the peanuts into any shape of your choice I'm going for a circle type of shape so I'm going to roll mine into some balls like this So just keep rolling it into any shape that you prefer until you have completely rolled out all your peanuts, guys. Guys, as you can see, I have completely rolled out all the coolie coolie in a circle rounded balls shape. So like I said earlier on, feel free to roll it according to how you want it. You can even go with the basic, you know, long um, coolie coolie style. But this is how I want it, guys. You know, this type of balls. Right now, I'm going to transfer this um, coolie coolie inside my oven because I'm going to use the oven method to, you know, bake it. You can as well transfer it into a hot heated oil and then fry it. But instead, I'll prefer to do the oven method because um, I want to reduce the intake of um, oil. So, this is what we have here, guys. And we're going to toss it into the oven for like um, 40 minutes to 45 minutes. guys we have finally come to the end of today's recipe this is the end result of our oven baked um, coolie coolie recipe yeah. guys eh, i have been craving for this coolie coolie like no man business so i had to just um, fix it up so it took me about one good hour to get the final result of this that is because my coolie coolie balls are very very big in nature you can eat the coolie coolie like this or you can also drink gary with it in fact coolie coolie tastes absolutely amazing when you drink Gary with it, you know, I'm gonna go Gary with Kuli Kuloi Bano. <laughs>